My name is Raed Jarrar, and I'm the Policy Impact Coordinator at the American Friends Service Committee. There is nothing new about what we're doing in Iraq and Syria now. The U.S. has been bombing Iraq for over 22 years, since 1991. And the U.S. engaged against ISIS militarily in 2005, 2006. At that time, ISIS was called ISI, the Islamic State in Iraq. So the idea that we can bomb Iraq into moderation, that we can fight extremism by dropping more bombs, doesn't have any evidence on the ground. We have so much evidence that dropping more bombs will fuel extremism. This happened in the past, and I think it will happen again now. It's a cycle. So the fact that the uh, Iraqi government now is weak and it always requests foreign intervention to maintain itself, it creates a cycle where foreign intervention continues and illegitimate Iraqi political actors continue. For example, one of the myths that we have internationally is that the Iraqi army is not strong enough because it needs some more training. That's not the problem. Uh, the Iraqi government and the Iraqi military, they're facing a crisis of legitimacy. There are some really amazing ideas about diplomatic solutions, political solutions for what's going on in Iraq and Syria. Many people inside Iraq and Syria have been coming up with very smart ideas uh, that include uh, political and social solutions, ways to isolate extremism uh, rather than uh, bomb Iraqis and Syrians and create the conditions where extremism thrive. Unfortunately, we can't really discuss any of these political and social solutions while the U.S. is bombing Iraq and Syria. Want more? Download the AJ Plus mobile app and join the conversation. Available in your app store now.